Mr. Speaker, will you please call the House to order? The bill is passed. We'd like to get a budget that represents the interests of the people who are standing here with me now. To be part of the struggle to achieve a better society for we all. We want to build stronger neighborhoods, vibrant communities, and make New York a more affordable place to live. Welcome to Assembly Update. I'm Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara, representing the 111th Assembly District, which, rep which uh, covers Montgomery County, parts of Albany County, and parts of Schenectady County. Uh, today, uh, I am very pleased to have my, my first guest, Colonel Tom Corello of the United States Air Force Auxiliary Civil Air Patrol. Welcome, Colonel. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Uh, I'm um, pleased to to, uh, to have you here. We uh, we recently talked uh, uh, talked uh, out, outside the show. <laughs> yeah. We met uh, with the uh, on uh, Aviation Day, uh, correct? And we we talked about some of the uh, some of the investments we're making in our airports. Uh, but it's great to have you here. Um, I know you have visited the Schenectady County Airport on several <laughs> occasions. Uh, so the Civil Air Patrol. Uh, I'm, and this is something that uh, I find absolutely fascinating. Uh, tell us, tell us what it is and uh, what the, what mission it serves. Well, I mean, originally in uh, December first, nineteen forty-one, it was it was organized to basically uh, root out the submarines that were destroying all our shipping during World War II, the beginning of World War II. The United States wasn't prepared and didn't have the assets to even consider doing it, and they, the Germans were sinking a lot of uh, tonnage. So the uh, Civil Air Patrol was born. Um, it's all civilians. They were all volunteers. The, most of them used their own airplanes. Um, they paint them yellow. They had li little yellow airplanes. And uh, they actually would arm them with hand grenades and torpedoes, anything to get their paws on. And they would go out and, and search out these submarines and start throwing things at them until they left. And they'd also do, uh, like when a ship was sunk, they would do a search and rescue of the, the, the maritime individuals who were at sea. So from that, um, that was 1941. In 1942, the uh, cadet side of the program was born. And this, this, uh, in those days, there was a lot, they were older cadets or older uh, teenagers. Um, today, they're a uh, group that we have 12 years old in the sixth grade, and they can start working with a squadron in their area. New York's lucky. It's New York's in what they call the Northeast region. Um, it consists of nine states. Uh, Colonel Jack O's are commanding. Um, we are the largest um, unit within the nine states. We're at roughly 2,400 personnel. Um, Pennsylvania, which I'm always arguing with Colonel Fleming every once in a while, we got them beat by about 500 personnel, so we're pretty happy. We, uh, we do house uh, 13 aircraft, yeah. um, DOD funding um, for that, but the Civil Air Patrol itself, like I said, it's got a long, proud tradition. Um, we're very proud of what we've done over the years um, with the state and, and things of that nature. We're into a lot of, and our mission used to be pretty much search and rescue. Um, ELTs would go off, Air Force Rescue Recovery Center would call, issue a mission number, we'd scramble a crew and get in the air within a half an hour or so and start searching for an ELT signal. Um, today, those with EPIRBs, we still look for them, um, but that, that mission's kind of gone away and we've moved into more of a picture taking, if you will, photography. We have um, verbs, what they call verbs. They're, uh, Motion picture cameras are set on our wings, and all our aircraft will have them eventually. Uh, New York's got three or four already, um, where we can run up and down a border and just take video and give to whatever agency needs it. Um, we do a lot of pictures. Uh, example, Superstorm Sandy. Yeah. We took 190,000 snapshots for FEMA, and uh, whether it was federal FEMA or state. And uh, we actually um, were deployed to the uh, shelters at New York in the um, uh, disaster area, so we were we were actually doing communications and running FEMA, and we did a lot of work for everybody. And, and the funny thing about it, there's 60,000 of us roughly, we're all volunteers. And uh, that's what I saw, I was just gonna ask you, so uh, the, the, uh, about 60,000 members, and are they they're from across the entire state? Across, well, across the country. Across the country, That's okay. the so National Headquarters Civil Air Patrol. Yeah. And, uh, and how are the members, so when, you're, when there's an emergency and you're called and you're deployed, how does that process work? Who, who does the deployment? All right, well, um, a good question. The state of New York actually can activate Civil Air Patrol. Yeah. We have an MOU with them. And uh, what they will do, they call what we call our National Operations Center, the NOC. They get a mission number, NOC notifies one of my uh, uh, ICs. Um, and from there they call pe personnel and people and they just start running a mission. Yeah. Um, we have. We're rebuilding our mission bases right now. That's the other thing that we've been doing um, yeah. with you guys and your state grants, which has been great. Um, we're rebuilding them so that we can actually operate better out of them. 
So. And uh, also, you know, we talked about the Schenectady County Airport mm -hmm. and the investments there, you know, the upgrades that are happening there. It's important to keep the sort of the, uh, they're not the international airports, they're the smaller airports, right. but they're important for missions like this. Absolutely. And again, they're, they're important for other things too. I mean, you have your, your emergency missions, but again, New York has 1,200 cadets. And uh, as you know, you and I were talking earlier how many pilots we're going to need down the road. Um, trying to get the youth of today interested in flying again has been a challenge. Yeah. Um, they would rather go to the 174th attack wing, sit in a flight simulator down there, and blow things up in you know whatever country they happen to be playing in. And you know to get them to understand that there's these real airplanes with real engines and, and real needs has been difficult. And uh, we've been working hard to, to get them interested again. And we do um, orientation flights. You know, each cadet is, needs six front seat rides. They can take as many back seat rides as they want to take, but they have to do a minimum five or six front seat rides. Mm. And now I know that now the aircraft may not be uh, what people might think they are. They're smaller aircraft, right? These are smaller right. aircraft. So I know we have a photo of one we're going to share. Uh, so, okay, there we go there. So that's, uh, that's one of the aircrafts you, it is. you use. Um, Civil Air Patrol primarily uses 172 Cessnas and 182 Cessnas G1000s. The 182 is the new upgrade that we've been using a lot. Um, it's, it primarily is a computer controlled ship uh, with HUD displays and again, we follow, uh, we do follow military rules, so our, we're not, you can't just, you can be an FAA certified pilot, you need to be, but there's a whole series of things you have to do in Civil Air Patrol itself before you get safety current and flight current and, and equipment current. Now the, uh, also the cadets go through a lot of the training, but they, there's also a lot of learning involved. Uh, and I see here there's, you know, aerospace education, STEM education, that also is part of this, part of what they're doing. It's a big part. Um, again, Civil Air Patrol, I mean, it basically has three missions, your emergency services, your cadet programs, and your aerospace education. The aerospace education part um, is quite interesting. Uh, there's probably 60,000 teachers. We have a teacher's program. It's $35 one time. A school can become a, an AE, AE member with Civil Air Patrol, and then they're entitled to take all the STEM kits that we have for free. I mean, all they have to do is keep applying you, one at a time. Um, for instance, I had a, a school in um, Syracuse, New York that lost its funding. It was a private school. I, I happened to be taking care of their IT at the time. I said, hey, we should, you should look at this. And uh, they went ahead and bought, uh, they got rockets, model rockets. But there's uh, astronomy, there's a full flight simulator program. I mean, they just, we just ship it. You know, you use it, you fill out the form, you ship the next one. And uh, it's quite interesting. Again, it, all the th different things that we have, I think the last count, there was 50 different STEM kits that they can have and climbing. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. And, you, and going back to what you said, uh, 100, more than 160,000 pilots are going to be needed in the next 10 years. Yes. And uh, part of this, that mission, you're trying to fill that mission as well. Uh, that means uh, getting, uh, that, that we need a lot of cadets. We need a lot of everybody, yeah. yes. And uh, I know the cadets, uh, I know we have another photo that we shared where they, uh, the cadets actually uh, were part of the color guard at the Jets game. So yep. there's a lot of things they, they are involved with, including being part of the color guard and some other, uh, some other ceremonial act, uh, activities. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, again, the, the cadet program itself is, I mean, the sky's the limit with it. Um, I'm fortunate, um, squadron commanders, we have 60 squadrons in this state, nine groups. We're broken up into groups and squadrons. And most of the people, if not all the people, are professionals in some way, shape, or form. So, you know, who, who works for an IBM that takes them through a plant, or who works for you know, Grumman, who runs them through a plant, or all the different things they get to see or do. And, and the sky's the limit with them. I mean, I'm, I'm always talking to my cadet advisory council and saying, what do you guys want to do? I mean, you, you sit here and you don't tell me anything, and I don't have a crystal ball. So, I mean, if there's something special you want to do, you have to tell me. And getting them to start talking has been a tough road a hole, but uh, we're getting there little by little. Yeah, and, and we hope to see, uh, if people are watching, cadets want to get involved. You said there's an age limit, right? There's an age requirement? Um, they can start at 12 years old yep. and in the sixth grade. In the sixth grade. Yep. So anybody interested can apply. Yeah, um, just go online um, to the uh, website, our national yep. website, hit locations, put in your zip code, and it'll tell you where the squadron is in your area. The website's easy because it's Go Civil Air Patrol. That's it. Very uh, simple. <laughs> so anybody watching can uh, find out a little more. Maybe maybe somebody will be interested. Or can also come check it out. Sure. Uh, and I encourage people to uh, to do that. So you said there's a there's a, a number of squadrons, but tell me about New York 999. New York 999. <laughs> it's, it's our uh, New York State um, 
legislative unit. It's our squadron. It's made up of both houses. It's extremely bipartisan. We have both parties. Um, we don't even worry about parties here. It, it allows us to become closer to you um, as, an, as a, a, a legislator. Um, our, our, we, and we do a lot with our, our, our state. We really do. I mean, our state's great about doing things like this. Um, and I don't know if I can talk about this, but our Redbird program, um, it started last year, and I, I'll admit it now, I actually put it in, I've been trying to get one for years. A Redbird, a full motion Redbird, um, allows a cadet to literally sit in a, on a device and actually think he's flying an airplane. This is so accurate, they can actually write off two and a half hours of their flight training. So it counts, it goes in their logbook just like they were in a, a 182 Cessna. And because of this, um, we put it in last December, um, we actually threw it in Syracuse. We put a lot of the cadets through it. The interest level was so high, it was crazy. So we asked for some more this year and by the act of everything, um, you guys responded and uh, I'm pleased to say we're gonna put two more in. That's great. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to great that. Great opportunity, yeah. And, and you know, and again, we're such a large state. I mean, I, I had cadets coming from Long Island to fly this thing in Syracuse and it's a hike. You know, and if they don't wanna spend the night, I mean, I got 12 hours not just on the road. So, you know, being able to move these things and, and put them in places that they can use them. And, you know, we go to the schools, too. I mean, the other thing with that, it's a great device to go to a local school, especially an urban school, and say, you know, give me some of your kids. I want to show them why they need math science. Because weight, balance, everything that you do in flying, um, it's all math science. And that's why, you know, it's a big, it's a big STEM project. Yep, and the technology is there. The simulators, as you said, have, yes. have come a long way. Um, and it's great to see that these opportunities are there. So uh, anybody watching, I encourage you to learn more about the Civil Air Patrol. I, now, when, we've, when I first heard about this, of course, I, I served in the uh, Army Reserve. And, uh, uh, we, we'll forgive you. We began to have, we've, <laughs> I, never, I, didn't get to I didn't get to fly planes, yeah. but I did apply to become a member of the Civil Air yes, Patrol. Yes, you did. And with you, you have, so you have something for me. I do. I um, just got your membership. Um, information in your card. Yeah, that's the um, official card, New York is, 999. I mean, you are officially uh, Major Angelo Santa Barbara okay. of <laughs> NY999. Um, it entitles you to all the rights and privileges of our military organization. So, you know, the day comes that you say, I need a flight somewhere, let me know. <laughs> well, I'm happy, I'm happy to be a part of it, happy to help out, and happy to be a part of this group and to uh, support the Civil Air Patrol and your mission. And I know we have a, we do. a wonderful uh, plaque that we're going to be displaying in my office. <laughs> Uh, that uh, makes it official. It does. Well, uh, I want to thank you for uh, thank you for this opportunity. Great to be uh, a part of the Civil Air Patrol. I do plan on visiting at the Schenectady County Airport uh, and checking out the aircraft and a number of other things that are available there. I would uh, hope for those so. of you watching, uh, I encourage you to learn more about the Civil Air Patrol. It's real easy. Go civilairpatrol.com. Uh, thank you for being on the show, Colonel. We will see you again soon uh, back in the district. And I, I, uh, I wish you well uh, with, uh, with more recruiting of uh, cadets in the future. Thank you, Major. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Stick with us here on Assembly Update.